This is our Monza's grandpa or something. He's such an asshole. Suck it, Amius! Suck it! What's up? Like, I, I just hate having to go up against them. You know, he just seems to, like, do whatever he wants to do sometimes. And it's extremely annoying. Yeah, I, I beat him. I was on my phone and it just kind of happened. When he kills someone, he gets extra attacks. Yeah, he does. He does. And it's, it's annoying because I can never predict when he's going to use a one and kill. I don't know when he's going to kill, but I guess decrease attack helps. And it also helps to read the description of his A2 because I didn't know that he's going to do 5% more damage based off of my max HP for every buff. And now they're going to buff him. They're saying there's a bug and he's not performing as intended that he forgets. I didn't know an AI could forget or something that the program could forget to use an A2 or A3 when readily available. But if you didn't know, there were a bunch of uh, solo comps in order to take down Amius. From my understanding, Amius would just use his A1 if there was somebody on your team that was registering as killable. Amius, <laughs> Amius got dementia. Yeah, but this is the team. I'm, I'm just gonna share this with you guys and I'm gonna see if I can replicate the run that I did on my on my phone here. Cardiel, ally attack, some cleansing. Pytheon, cleansing, survivability because of his passive. Walking Tomb Drang, HP burns, as well as staying alive. And he's got the equalize ability. This move right here equalizes the HP of all allies. So if anybody is super low and I need that heal, bring everybody back up. That's what WTD is there for. Theodore, he needs more accuracy. He misses some of the weakens. When it does land, it's pretty nice. He's basically here for the poison, poison sensitivity. If this lands, that's pretty nice. And then obviously we have Nut here for the EMHP move. We're doing this. I'm going to replicate it. I need it for the content. So, so we're doing A1s. By the way, if you guys have any other compositions for Amius, please share them. Because when you guys comment in, in the videos, more than likely, because I know a lot of people flood, uh, flood to the comments, you guys are helping out other people within the community. Because people can see your comment and, and um, learn from that. We can hit this. We are start doing our big moves. And basically, it's just surviving trying to do as much damage as we can until um, Nuts A3 keeps coming back. I messed up. I wasn't paying attention. Actually, we can do this. And now we can hit the A1s. He's at two turns right here before he transforms. Someone said Godseeker Aniri can solo him. I think I saw Bronco do a video where he uh, was able to solo. But yeah, so here we are. We're just going to... Uh, do HP burns and poisons. HP uh, HP burns and poisons are particularly nice because he can't invert them. So if you can get them in, get them in. So now he's going to transform. And I think what he does after this is he puts, he removes all of the block debuffs on and he replaces them with block buffs. So we have to make sure that one of these guys can cleanse that yeah bronco does a lot of great great content uh, like three or four of my dungeon teams are are because of him so i don't exactly remember i don't know if he inverts anything but we're just gonna hit the a1s here hit the a1s we're basically trying to stay alive waiting until uh we can get his moves back and this is safe to use it's just the poison poison sensitivity we're gonna hold off on doing the ally attack for now just so I can get a better idea of what's about to happen. And honestly, when it comes to fighting Amius, and you don't have like a super cracked out double nut, double, double Krizia team, you're probably just going to have to take it, uh, like redo the fight over and over again, just to kind of memorize his skills. So he uses A2, he's A3. The next one that he does, more often than not, is going to kill one of these guys on my team. I'm going to try and place decrease attack on him. It gets resisted. I'm gonna try and hit the A1. We'll try our best to do the cleanse and stay alive. So Nut dies. This is what happens. He kills one guy and snowballs and he starts doing whatever he wants. The next move is going to be his stun. So we equalize our moves or we equalize the HP using WTD. I did want to wait to get the increased crit damage, but honestly, let's just do it right now. So we hit that. Let's get the cleanse in. 
And he inverts, so we're not going to use the weaken if it even lands, because he's got low resistance. I don't have the proper resistance for this. Let's see if we can do this. Double Lucrezia works, yeah. In Bronco's video, I think he used MXA2, and it causes... Really? I gotta see that video. Amius frustrates the fuck out of me, too. The hell out of me, dude. The hell out of me. So he's about to transform again. I don't, I don't even know what he's doing. What is he doing sometimes? It's so frustrating to fight him. Even I don't know what's going on. Does anybody know what, what's actually going on? Because I don't. So he's going to take off everything. What just happened? He just did like three moves back to back. And this next one, he's going to kill one of us. He's going to kill one of my guys. And then he's going to start doing a bunch of stuff again. So he kills Nut. Then he does this. Okay, so he's about to stun- look, look, he's dead! You killed my nut! Let's see if we can get nut back. So he's going to stun everybody. Is it, is it more important to bring him back? Or is it important to block it? I think we should block it. He's gonna transform in two turns. Get resisted by the poison. We're going to save that ally attack. Now let's bring him back. I think he's going to survive. Nut will survive if he gets hit with the A1. I'm pretty sure. So we'll place the burn. Can we activate it? We can activate it. Let's do this. Ally attack. There's a little bit of heal that... that... Okay. So we're okay there on that front. We don't... He's going to switch. He's going to switch... Um, what do you call it? To his second form here. Let's see if we can survive here. Um, he's going to invert the buffs. We want to just hit our A1s for now to make sure that the cleanse ability is safe. Good to go. Of course. Come on, survive. Alright, we can cleanse. Get a little bit of healing in. Hit the A3. Let's equalize. Oh my god. It, I don't, if we didn't equalize there, I don't think we would have survived that. Oh my gosh, you freaking bastard, dude. Okay, he's going to stun. He's going to stun this next one. Let's activate it. There it is. This is this. Yep, that's it. It's over. This is what he. This is what he does. This is this is our Monza's grandpa or something. We can't. We can't revive yet. We can't salvage this yet. Can we salvage this? We revive. We get stunned. Yeah. Oh, maybe we can equalize. Oh, maybe we... Eh? Maybe? We got two turns. Let's activate that. Oh, we placed the weekend. I shouldn't have done that. That was a bad thing for me to do. You have some pretty good champs. He just sleeps them, then crushes them. You're going to bed at 7.30 a.m. Thank you for the stream. See you later. <laughs> Doss, thanks for hanging out, man. I appreciate you. See you, on, see you on the next one. I'm streaming tomorrow also. So maybe see you there. He's going to transform. If I put up these buffs right now, he's going to remove everything. We're just going to A1 for now. But we can do this. Luckily, HP burns and poisons are okay to place. However, the speed gets inverted to decrease speed, so maybe that kind of worked out against me. We'll see here. We'll save the cleanse. All right, give it to me. What are you doing? What are you going to do to me? Let's just do it. Let's hit it. 
This has got to be Armand's grandpa, bro. I'm serious. Like, look at him. Look at what he, do he does. He takes turn after turn. It's the same thing with Armand's. Armand's just takes, takes a bunch of turns back to back. Back to back. It's ridiculous, dude. You did not kill... <laughs> not at full HP, bro. Jesus. Okay. We're okay. He's gonna switch and he's in his attack mode right now. And here's the... Wait, we have to kill him in a specific turn, in a specific mode, right? A1. Greg, thank you so much, bro. I appreciate you for, for saying that. I, I just want to have fun. I want to have fun and I want to bring uh, happiness to everybody. I just want to make this fun. So I appreciate you saying that. I, I want my content to be informative, but also fun. And um, thank you. That means a lot. Right. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. We're good. For now, I think we can do this. We can place the HP burns. We have two turns here, three turns here, two turns here. I think we're safe to place the counterattack and the decrease attack. That help. That's gonna help. Now we want to be cognizant that he is going to transform again soon. We want to be careful with our buffs and our debuffs. We're just gonna A1, see what he does. Maybe I have to be more active instead of reactive. Or should I be re I don't I don't know what the word is. Like I think the, the technique is like waiting for him to make a move and then responding. Man, I don't even know what I'm saying. Yeah, the decrease attack. Okay, so maybe we're learning here. Maybe having decrease attack before he switches over is a good thing. Who knew? So with this move, attacks all enemies before attacking, increases the duration of all debuffs, increases the duration of all debuffs, and decreases the duration of all buffs on us, increases the damage inflicted by 5% of our max HP. So we don't want to have buffs up, basically. Otherwise, it's going to smack harder. So we're going to A1 for a bit. Let's equalize for nut. What the fuck was that? What? I was going to use my A2 and he decided to basically say stop it's my turn. Did, did you see that? Theodore was about to do his A2. He didn't even get to do his A2. Amy's was like hold on it's my turn right now. I know the HUD is telling you it's your turn but no it's my turn. Suck it! What's up? <laughs> Hell yeah, bro! Kidding me? Dear God, dude. <sighs> Sheesh! I knew that you guys knew that I knew that you knew that I knew that I could do it. <laughs>